so you've designed a plastic part sent it off for quotes and boom you're hit with a mold tooling cost of ten thousand dollars or fifty thousand dollars or even more why is it so expensive well it's not just a block of steel with a cavity it's precision engineering custom tooling and a lot of design thinking in this video we'll break down exactly what goes into the cost of an injection mold step by step so you know where your money is going and how to optimize your budget understanding this will save you thousands let's get into it welcome to ug mold tech Section 1. First, what is a mold really? An injection mold is a custom built high precision tool that forms molten plastic into a solid part. It's usually made from hardened steel or aluminum machined to exact tolerances. And every feature of your part from snap fits to texturing must be built into it. It's like commissioning a custom machine that does one job, make your part repeatedly at high speed. Now let's look at what makes it so expensive. Section 2 The 7 Main Cost Factors When diving into the world of injection molding, understanding the key factors that influence the final cost is crucial. There are 7 major cost drivers for injection molds that we'll be exploring in this section. Each of these factors plays a significant role in determining the overall expense of your project. Let's break them down one by one to give you a clear picture of what to expect. 1. Mold Size and Complexity The size of the mold is a primary cost driver. Larger parts necessitate larger molds which directly impacts the amount of material required and the complexity of the manufacturing process. This translates to more steel being used which inherently increases material cost. Furthermore, larger molds demand longer machining time as more material needs to be precisely cut and shaped. The increased size also leads to higher handling costs. The complexity of the part design is another critical factor. More features incorporated into the part design directly translate to more complexity in the mold making process which equals more cost. However, if you add features like undercuts, threads, sliders and inserts to that basic box, the mold design becomes significantly more intricate. These additions require specialized mold components and more complex machining processes. As a result, the cost can easily triple reflecting the increased engineering and manufacturing effort involved. 2. Number of cavities The number of cavities in a mold directly impacts production efficiency. More cavities mean more parts produced per cycle. This increased output translates to a lower part cost per unit, making it advantageous for large production runs. However, it's important to note that the tooling cost for multi-cavity molds is significantly higher compared to single cavity molds. A single cavity mold offers a lower initial investment making it suitable for small scale production or prototyping. On the other hand, a multi cavity mold with configurations like 4, 8 or even 16 plus cavities dramatically boosts output, reducing the per part cost and making it ideal for mass production scenarios. 3. Mold material For long term production requirements, it's best to opt for steel molds. Common steel grades used in injection molding include P20, H13 and S1-36, each offering specific properties to suit different application needs. The choice of mold material is a critical decision that affects both the cost and the lifespan of the mold. Steel molds, known for their durability and ability to withstand high injection pressures, it's worthwhile investment for long-term production needs. Aluminum, in contrast, offers a more cost-effective alternative. It is cheaper to acquire and faster to machine, reducing the initial tooling costs. However, aluminum molds are less durable and wear out quicker compared to steel molds. As a general Line, if you are working on prototype runs or low volume production, aluminum molds are a practical and economical choice. 4. Surface finish and texturing. The look and feel of your final product can make all the difference. Do you envision a beautiful subtly textured finish that invites touch or a high gloss mirror like surface that screams premium quality? The choice is yours, but it's important to understand the implications. Achieving that desired finish often requires extra work on the mold itself. That could mean additional EDM, electrical discharge machining work to create a specific texture, meticulous hand polishing to achieve a flawless shine or precise laser etching for intricate designs. Each of these processes adds time and cost. High gloss finishes and detailed logos while visually appealing cost more to produce because of the extra care and precision required. Furthermore, they also cost more to maintain as they are more susceptible to scratches and imperfections. Consider the long term implications of your aesthetic choices. Bottom line, the nicer the finish, the higher the cost. It's a direct relationship. So. Carefully weigh the aesthetic benefits against the budgetary impact. Are those extra details truly essential to your product's success? 5. Undercuts and side actions. Now, let's talk about part geometry. Parts with undercuts, those recessed features that prevent straight ejection from the mold, 
threads for screws or fasteners or snap fits for easy assembly may need slides lifters or unscrewing cords to be manufactured correctly these are all clever mechanical solutions that allow the mold to release the part but they come at a price each of these adds complexity to the mold design introduces moving parts that require precise alignment and maintenance and results in higher machining and assembly costs the more intricate the mechanism the greater the expense if you can simplify your design even in small ways to eliminate undercuts or reduce the number of complex features you can save thousands of dollars in tooling cost consider design for manufacturability principles early in the process 6 cooling system design efficient cooling is absolutely key to achieving faster cycle times in injection molding and faster cycles directly translate to lower part cost the quicker the mold cools the sooner the next part can be produced yes investing in a sophisticated cooling system costs more up front but it can pay off big in high volume production runs by significantly reducing cycle times and increasing overall efficiency it's a strategic investment in long term cost savings 7 tolerances and precision Finally let's discuss tolerances tighter tolerances demand more machining time to achieve the required accuracy more frequent and rigorous quality checks to ensure compliance cut and ultimately more expensive molds built to withstand the stresses of producing parts within those exacting specifications every micron counts and that precision comes at a premium if you don't absolutely need tight tolerances for the proper function or fit of your part don't ask for them unnecessarily tight tolerances drive up costs without providing any real benefit bonus hidden costs beyond the initial price tag there are often hidden costs associated with injection molding that can significantly impact your budget and don't forget the hidden costs these are the expenses that aren't always immediately apparent but can add up quickly design for manufacturability dfm review this crucial step involves analyzing your part design to identify potential manufacturing challenges and optimize it for efficient molding a thorough dfm review can save you money in the long run by preventing costly mistakes and ensuring a smooth production process mold trials and validation runs before full scale production it's essential to conduct mold trials to test the mold's performance and identify any issues these validation runs help fine tune the molding process and ensure that the parts meet your quality standards modifications after first shots it's not uncommon to require modifications to the mold after the initial test shots these adjustments can range from minor tweaks to more significant alterations depending on the complexity of the part and the mold design Okay so how much does a mold really cost it's a complex question with no easy answer as the price can vary widely depending on several factors your actual price depends on your part size design volume and material larger parts require larger molds which are more expensive to manufacture complex designs with intricate features also increase the cost the type of material you choose will also affect the price as some materials are more difficult to mold than others always get quotes from experienced mold shops and ask for dfm feedback before committing a reputable mold shop will be able to provide you with an accurate estimate and help you optimize your design for manufacturability your requirement may be of simple aluminum prototype mold these are typically used for low volume production runs or for testing the design before investing in a more expensive steel mold or basic single cavity production mold or these molds produce one part per cycle and are suitable for lower volume production multi cavity high volume steel mold or these molds produce multiple parts per cycle and are designed for high volume production runs they are more complex and expensive than single cavity molds but offer significant cost savings in the long run complex tools eg unscrewing over molding These molds incorporate advanced features such as unscrewing mechanisms or overmolding capabilities to produce parts with complex geometries or multiple materials. So yes, injection molds are expensive, but once built, they can produce millions of parts reliably. This makes them a cost-effective solution for high volume production. The better your design, the smarter your planning. the more value you'll get out of your mold investment investing in a well designed mold and a robust manufacturing process will pay off in the long run with higher quality parts reduce production costs and increased efficiency if this helped you hit like subscribe for more engineering breakdowns and ring that bell icon for weekly videos thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one